everybody who and welcome to Nev's Gaming. Thank you for coming back and watching the video as always. Well, thankful for the support. In the last episode, we built our villager breeder in our wonderful church behind us there. But we have a problem. We now need to move all those villages and put them somewhere. Well, that's why I built another two buildings behind us. Whoops, it's getting dark, so I need to head off into this uh, one of the buildings and actually I'll lay down and sleep as we emerge from our wonderful abode we see these two lovely houses that I have built off at a stream we've got a nice little two-way building here I'll take her in we'll start we'll start with the building on the right here uh, we can enter it going up the stairs here if we go in and I've looked through the window look at that nice little waterfall feature which I absolutely love Nice and dinky, I like that. Really like that. Uh, going into the house, we see we've got this downstairs area going up stairs to like a little loft conversion area with a nice little on the platform which we can look at our neighbours and their houses that are going to get built. I didn't realise there was a house up there until the other day as well. Moving on through. Uh, moving down, should we say, we'll pop next door. Over through the pond we created and we can pop through the side doors oh into this light little alcove here where again we've got another balcony which we can say hello to the neighbor i put glass on the bamboo to stop them growing up as uh, high as these ones did i'm gonna trim these ones down because they are really too high but i do like how these grow nice and bushy below around just giving that extra bit of depth and a bit of a uh, character to the waterfall uh, going up here uh, we've got a nice little attic area. I'm thinking I'm going to uh, break out and maybe make some alcoves on these. I'm not quite sure yet. Or we can have just a row of villages up here. Mm, choices, choices, possibilities. Might make it a chest area as well. You know, there's plenty of real estate we can utilise. Going down then, these stairs here. We've got a nice little arctic fox. Let's come say hello. We've got him. We've got uh, we've got Frederick back. Frederick the horse. Uh, Frederick the horse. Frederick the donkey. Even. We'll enter the building here through the front, and we've got this nice little first room here, which I'm gonna lade in with a few villages. I'm thinking that we're gonna have now that we have easier access to sticks, utilizing the bamboo. Uh, bamboo. Um. I'm thinking I am going to utilize here. For fletches and maybe some farmers on the other side just to collect the initial arrow, uh, arrows emeralds is the word I'm looking for going through here I'm gonna have like it's going to be a hidden uh, library as such where it's gonna be built into the wall we're gonna have uh, some movable movable bookcases and this is going to be our entrance through here into the main villager breeding halls. Pods of five. Uh, pod, pods, pods of five. There is here. We've got snow, uh, snow background on one side, and we've got a dark deep slate brick the other. And these are all going to be filled with villagers. Each one uh, filled with um, uh, bamboo. And we're going to extend this further and further, and further, and see what we pop out. I've left this here because I really want to still touch it, which is why we need villagers this episode. All right. That was very interesting. That was a long intro. I'm going to move these villages. Thank you. Maybe subscribe. I did that in one take. Villages are bred. Tracks are made all the way to the uh, villager trading hall building thingy majiggy. And while they were, while they were uh, growing up, I decided to start building the little windmill shoppy area that I'm doing. So let's see if we can't move our first villager. Yes, I do have a full inventory of absolute junk. So place that down there. We've got our first one. Let's see if he goes in. No, does he need a little push? Yes, he does. Okay. Oh, we just got an achievement. Did we? No. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. Let's see if we can get a good trade. First go with our villager. One. Hello. Oh. Okay, it's not you. Um, wow, this is awkward. Right, we finally got the right one. Let's start trying to get our first silk touch 
Fortune 3, anything good like that. And then we'll slowly move on to the others, who are currently staring at me very, very weirdly. Like they know what's about to come. Well, and there she is, these are our first book on Mending, 28 emeralds, but we'll get that down with a few little zombies. So let's get that rest on the go, see if we can't get that fortune and efficiency. Yes! Oh god, I'm gonna need some more paper. So we may have just had a little bit of an accident here with a few zombies entering the hole because I didn't sleep and then, uh, yeah, they transfer and transform these into them and I haven't got any potions or anything like that so I can't transform them, but we can save them from a later date. Would you look at that? Five. Five. Yeah, that's all we need because it costs like 32 per stick. And uh, those zombie villages that we saw earlier, uh, they're dead. Yeah, they had an unfortunate end with my uh, sword. Uh, but these, uh, yeah, the first five fletches are in, so we can trade sticks with them once we make our bamboo farm. We've got our first few farmers in, uh, so we can uh, build up our crops and sorts on them for emerald moving around. We've got some enchantments. Our lonely guy over here has got him breaking infinity one for our bows. And then we'll move over here because I'm clever enough. I actually put signs on each one. So let's have a look. We've got Mending on the first one, which we saw. Fortune 3, Depth Strider 3. Good. We'll need that for when we go. Uh, Depth Strider especially for when we go um, archaeology digging. Aqua Infinity 1, again, archaeology digging out in the sea. Thorn 3 for our armor. Power 5 for our bow. Cheeky little silk touch. What is that noise? Uh, yeah, anyway, carry on. Efficiency 4 for our pickaxe and respiration again. So we've got plenty to go uh, things to go diving with and plenty of all important enchantments. Mending, efficiency, and breaking, uh, fortune, silt touch, all the necessary things we need for gathering resources. If we do take a trip outside, I have come to the decision. We're stopping there. I'm literally... I'm literally closing. I'm closing the door. Okay, open it again and closing the door. I'm closing the door on any more villagers getting bread because I've come to realize, I've come to realize something important. My villager breeder in there is too close to there. Too close. So we need to move it just over here, Hunter. Just over there. Just over, where are we? Just over that threshold. And we also need a lot of iron. Because there's no point in making villagers for breeding. If we haven't got any farms for breeding, that means we're going to need a lot of iron. And if you look in that distance while the sun is setting, over there, nope, over here, there's a nice little ridge, a nice little plateau on there where I'm going to stick an iron farm. It's over 100 blocks away, which is perfect. And then we're going to move our villagers. Let's, before it gets too dark. We're going to move our villager breeder over yonder I've already been clearing a patch for it over here we're gonna move our villager breeder over here so it doesn't interfere with our villager trading call right I'm going to run to sleep and as I do I'm gonna say a big toodaloo and I'll see all you beautiful people in the next episode where we make the iron farm good bye like and subscribe <laughs>
That's my fence currently. A cow. A cow is my fence. A cow is my fence. Very strange.